The DVW Altrix connector for SAP RPA allows you to use SAP GUI scripting from within an Altrix workflow. Now, there are actually a massive number of potential use cases uh, that can be supported by this particular connector, ranging from the execution and capture of the output from an SAP T code or report through to updates to master data, transaction data within the SAP system. It really is pretty much unlimited. So I'll give you two short examples here. One of these, I'll show you uh, how we go about capturing the output from a report within the SAP system. In this case, I'm going to use the uh, general ledger account line item display transaction, FBL3N, if you're familiar with T codes. And I'm also gonna show you the update of pricing condition record data using the same mechanism. So let's start with the output from the report. And you can see on the screen here, I have a workflow that I've already defined that's making use of our RPA tools. Um, there's two particular tools we're using within this workflow. The first one is the SAP RPA tool itself, and that's where it allows us to, uh, to capture the, the script, to record uh, the script itself, to make modifications to it and enhancements to it. And the second one is our, our RPA pass tool, which allows us to format the output from the uh, T code in this case, and present it to us in a, in a format that can be consumed further downstream within Altrix. What's also quite nice about the capability we've built into this is that, for example, if I work within the audit function, I can capture screenshots maybe at the beginning of a given process and also at the end of the process. And I'll show you this in this example. Okay, so let's start with this then. So um, I've got my SAP screen already on the left-hand side here. I'll make a little bit of room in a second. So let me just run this particular workflow here and you can see the system chugging away and it's returned to the basic state and if I just come back to my Altrix workflow we can see that that is that's finished <clears throat> and if I look at the the, the uh, browse tool here within Altrix you can see I have my output nicely formatted, ready to use further downstream. Okay. What we also did as part of this particular workflow is we caught the, uh, the starting point of the workflow through, a, through just a screen print. So you can see the selection criteria that was used, as well as a, a snapshot of the final output, which you may find useful again for sort of audit purposes. Now, a lot of the magic takes place in this SAP script area here. So if I just make a little bit of room and open up this, this window, you'll see that this is a script that I've actually recorded already. Um, we have the ability to tr uh, initiate the, um, uh, the recording through, uh, through Altrix directly, or I have the ability to select and upload a file that I've pre-recorded uh, elsewhere. And we've also done here some basic parameterization of that. So we've captured here the transaction code that has been used. Well, this is consistent, so I'm not going to change that. Uh, we've also captured things such as the, um, the, the output file that's going to be captured when we execute the report uh, from within uh, Altrix. Let's close this window. Okay. So I'll get the output. And then this, this pass tool, what we do here is we're shaping the data um, and take some control over how the data will be presented to us within Altrix. So as you'll, a lot of you will know, the um, SAP outputs are often quite inconsistent. They may have uh, lots of header values, uh, which you'd like to have incorporated in columns. There may be some, uh, some, some entries there that are meanest to you want to exclude from that. So this we do within this particular report, this, this particular capability here. But with a very simple Altrix workflow, making use of the SAP RPA tools, we can both record, then capture and execute uh, the output from a particular report within the system. Very, very powerful. Second example is slightly more, more complicated because what we're going to do here is we're actually going to write data back into the SAP system based upon data that we've extracted from the SAP system. So this particular workflow has three main phases to it. Phase one is the extract of pricing condition data from my SAP system. And for this, we're using some of the DVW uh, standard uh, outreach connector for SAP tools, particularly uh, the SAP table tool, as well as the ACS filter tool. 
And through this mechanism here, we're extracting data from the underlying SAP system. Once you've grabbed that data, what we want to do is we're going to apply maybe some logic. So perhaps we're going to uh, use a formula to increase the value or the amount associated with each of those condition records that we're going to update within the SAP system. And the final thing I'll do here is I also just want to uh, modify the start date for the condition records that we're going to create. We're then using the data we've captured here and we've prepared that in the format that will be then fed into our SAP RPA tool. Okay, so let's just run this workflow and I'll show you what it looks like. Let's create a bit of space again. Over here. Let's get back to SAP. Okay, come on, our tricks were right. There we go. Okay, so let's run this workflow. So firstly, as I said earlier, we're doing the extract of the, the data that we want to uh, update. So this is operating now. So we're pulling the data using our table tool into Alteryx. We're now doing some formatting of that data. We're preparing that data. And in just a couple of seconds, the workflow will trigger the script. OK, here we go. And we're off and running. Now, here I'm doing, I'm updating multiple values in one hit here. This will go over one page, so we'll do a page down. The data entry is complete. And the workflow is finished.